couple of weeks ago, I did a video on AirPods 2 and how I felt that they were not great earbuds. And it's not really a price problem as there are more expensive options. My main complaint is that they weren't really magical after you paired them. They barely fit, have zero noise cancellation, aren't really certified for any sort of water resistance, and were really only good for phone calls and their minimalistic case. So I asked you if you wanted to see a video of good AirPod alternatives that we'd recommend and we've tried, and a lot of you said yes. We're not exactly sure what to call this series because we do want this to be a set of recurring videos over accessories that we'd recommend. So for now, let's just call this, try this out. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's talk about some good AirPod alternatives. All right, so off the bat, all five alternatives that I'm about to mention beat AirPods when it comes to the fit. I seriously don't understand how Apple can get something so elemental wrong. But then again, in Apple's defense, none of these companies can compete with Apple when it comes to the case. Seriously, this is something that Apple gets right. So we're about to order these in price, not necessarily over which one is better. And let's begin with the tick pods, which are priced at $99. These are made by a company called Mavoy, which is famous for the Tick Watch. Yes, they look like AirPod ripoffs, so there's that, but at least you get more color options. You also get cushions in the tips to address what Apple can't figure out. They sound good, but out of all five, I'd say that these sound the weakest. They are IPX5 water resistant, have capacitive touch controls for interaction, and also for the voice assistant. The case is not large, but not small but sadly it charges through micro USB, so there's that. Battery life goes for four hours on a single charge, which can go up to 18 hours with the case. Again, not my favorite option, but for those of you looking for devices that look like AirPods, this is the way to go. Our second option comes from Aki. This is their new true wireless earbuds that retail for around $109. These ones sound significantly better than the Tick Pods and have a design that I'd worry less about falling off your ear thanks to the wings. They have capacitive buttons for controls, they are IPX5 water resistant, and I'd actually call these some of the most modern because they are Bluetooth 5, which is still hard to find today. This means you get better battery life of up to seven hours because each earbud connects independently so long as your phone supports it. The case also has a swivel design that's unique, it's USB-C, and best of all, it's Qi compatible for wireless charging, and it can provide an extra 17 hours of battery life. Third, let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Buds, which retail for $129, and I really want to understand why these are so affordable. I mean, they look and sound like higher-end earbuds. If you have a Galaxy phone, the magical pairing process of iPhones and AirPods is mimicked to the dot. Buttons are capacitive, these are also Bluetooth 5, so we're talking about great battery life of up to 6 hours per charge and an extra charge in the case. They are also IPX2, meaning, well, they're splash-proof. The case is one of my favorites because it also supports Qi wireless charging. It connects through USB-C and is one of the smallest of the bunch. Now, the ones that I've actually used most are the Jabra Elite 65T, which cost $169. Those of you asking me which are the earbuds that I use for running and fitness activities, those are actually the active variants of these, which retail for $20 more. One of the main reasons why I've chose them is because I feel that they're the most complete. First, their sound is fantastic, I like that their design doesn't require wings to fit, and the mini boom design helps with phone calls. We're talking four microphones, full controls through four physical buttons for not just music controls, but also volume. We have Bluetooth 5, IP55 water and dust resistance, and you get five hours of battery life per charge. The case is one of the smallest of the bunch and provides an extra 15 hours of a charge. But, uh, well, disclaimer, I have to warn you that to open this case the first time is a learning curve, and it charges through micro USB, sadly. But then one of the great advantages of Jabra products is they offer an extended warranty by default. You don't have to pay for it of up to two or depending on the product up to three years, I believe, where you get full replacements of your products if you have any issues with them. So far, I haven't had any to require a replacement. But that's actually cool to have. And then last but not least, 
Let's talk about the Eren M2, which are the most expensive, retail for $250, though you can currently find them for around $199. These are really cool for a few neat tricks. They are the smallest of the bunch, and their design allows you to swap earbuds from one ear to the next, and you won't be able to tell them apart. Sound is great, controls are capacitive, though this is Bluetooth 4.2, so we're talking of four hours of battery life on a charge, and up to 14 hours on its case, which is rather unique. Sadly, I don't see any water resistance on the specs. It's also a very beautiful case that can fit in your pocket without being too intrusive. Though probably my problem with these is their complexity as each earbud connects independently, even if on Bluetooth 4.2, so they require the app for certain controls, and the pairing process is a story for another video. Still, those of you looking for a minimalistic design, this is probably the way to go. To conclude, it's really hard for me to tell you that one is better than the other because there are so many different price points that I don't necessarily feel that they compete against each other. They all serve different purposes and do really well in specific scenarios. So for those of you that are, for example, looking for earbuds that are good for your commute and standard use, I feel that the Aukis would be the better option because I feel that you're getting the better bang for your buck. Now, for those of you that are looking for a good fitness alternative, wow, okay, right there, Jabra Elite 65T Active, and I would choose the Galaxy Buds as a close second. Those of you that are looking for a device that's actually good when it comes to the best audio quality, the best overall experience, I would give it to the Jabra Elite 65Ts first. Second, I would call it on the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Let us know which ones would you pick in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social media for extended coverage, which happens on Instagram. And also follow my personal handles, as you can see what I do with these phones in my spare time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.